the deal. So Donald Trump as president reaches out to Democrats and Republicans. Well, you gotta, well that's the way it was set up, Anderson. Because there's some, some conservatives who say, look, it's more important to stand on principle than it is a compromise. I watched Ted Cruz make a fool of himself. I watched Ted Cruz filibuster for how long did he do it? For two days or something? I also watched 99 senators sitting back and laughing at him and saying, hey, when do we get back to work? Now, they don't get along and everything, so that getting back to work doesn't help either. His filibuster did nothing. What did it do? You wasted a day and a half while he sat there and told stories so about what Alice are, in Wonderland. What, okay. what do you want to make deals with Democrats on? What do you see room for compromise? Okay. Well, first of all, I'd start with corporate inversion because I could make that one in about two seconds. The money has to come back into that. They have two and a half trillion dollars, probably five trillion, but the government says two and a half. Two and a half trillion dollars that companies want to bring into the country, right? They can't bring it in. Some countries, some companies are leaving to get their money, not just for taxes. They're leaving because they can't bring their money back in. I could solve that problem in 10 minutes, okay? But there are many things. We have to make a better health care deal. We have to work on education. We have horrible education. We're number 30 in the world in education, and yet we're number one per pupil in cost. So those are all things you can make compromises on with Democrats to get something yeah, done. Of course you can. You can't be inflexible. Look, if somebody wants to sell this house and they want a billion dollars, I want a billion dollars. You got to negotiate a little bit. It's so okay. the other knock that you know some conservatives make, certainly they make on on President Obama, they say he, he's sort of an imperial president. It's one of the things Cruz is saying about you, even the sort of the pledge that you're having people make at, at rallies. He says that you're uh, they're treating your supporters like subjects to a king. The uh, implication it's being that words. as president, you would it's be. It's just words. Look, it's just words. Uh, Ted, it's just words with Ted. Ted is a guy who's. Uh, Who's somebody, he's a very inflexible guy, He'll never, you'll never make a deal. You talk about gridlock now? If Ted Cruz became president, you wouldn't have anything done in Washington would be a total piece of stone. Uh, you wouldn't make any, just so you understand, you know, he talks about, uh, he's a constitutionalist, okay? The Constitution was set up with senators and congressmen, and you're supposed to work and make deals. Do you see the Constitution? And two parties, and it could be more than two parties, but two parties. Do you see the Constitution as a living, breathing document that or do you see it as something set in stone from long ago? Those, I, I those see are sort the, of the Constitution two. as set in stone. I see it as one of the great documents of all time. I also see it as something that says you've got to sit down and make deals. I mean, look, if Ted wants something, health care, and he won't negotiate, the other side's not going to negotiate either. There's got to be a little bit of movement. There's and that's, wrong that's key that. to you to end gridlock negotiation. Yeah, but I'll make a better deal than the other side. Right. I'm going to make a better deal. On foreign